We're based in St George and we've also got a property at Dirrambandi. We're primarily large scale irrigators. Cropping is our, our forte. All to the west of us is all grazing country, so we're really the first farming country you actually get to. So we were getting a lot of pressure from feral animals coming in from the west. And we had areas there, I would say, at a guess, were a couple of hectares um, that were just flattened to the ground from pigs. Um, and it was the same thing, didn't matter how much you tried to eradicate them and get on top of them, um, they would just keep coming. So for you to go and start losing 20 hectares, 30 hectares, 40 hectares, which would be about the number over a, a three or 4,000 hectare crop, is actually quite a, quite a lot of dollars. I honestly believe it's a, it's a no-brainer to put a, put a fence up. We're, we're croppers, we're, we're not graziers, we're not people who run fences all the time. Um, our big decision to use Waratah was the lifelongness of the product. Um, as far as a fence goes for us, we considered low maintenance, something we didn't have to go near, um, something we didn't have to go and check every week or every couple of weeks. Um, I'd also suggest making it stronger, not only on your end assemblies, but in the fence as well. So that's what we decided to do while bringing the, the post back into seven metres. You could have gone out to eight metres, you could have gone out to nine metres. We went back to seven, gives you a stronger fence. Um, and by using the bigger posts, that also gave us a strength as well. So, and look, we've had a lot of feral animals trying to get out and get back in, and um, you see them hit up against the fence and the fence doesn't move at all. It's really just one of those things you can't not afford to do.